Zoom partners with Anthropic, Tesla shows off a robot, and Apple's new text-to-speech can mimic users' voices. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown, all the AI headline news you need in five minutes or less. First up, Zoom has announced a partnership with Anthropic. The goal of the partnership is to bring the Claude chatbot across the Zoom productivity platform, which will start with Zoom's contact center product being used to help with customer support. Now, it's not clear yet how Claude might be integrated to other parts of the Zoom platform, including team chat, meetings, phone, whiteboard or zoom iq but one of the things that was notable about the announcement is that zoom specifically called out anthropics constitutional ai model as one of the reasons for the partnership they write anthropics constitutional ai model is primed to provide safe and responsible integrations for our next generation innovations beginning with the zoom contact center portfolio Maybe a vote of confidence for that constitutional ai approach next up elon musk is not happy with open ai In a recent interview on CNBC, he claimed he's the reason that OpenAI exists, that he was the one who invented the name, that OpenAI wasn't putting enough emphasis on safe AI development, and that separately he had also suffered ruptures in his friendship with Google co-founder Larry Page because Page as well, quote, did not seem concerned about AI safety. Musk said, quote, the final straw was Larry calling me a speciesist for being pro-human consciousness instead of machine consciousness. Now, some might feel that Elon is just angry because he's behind OpenAI and doesn't really have a stake in any of these generative AI companies, but he's far from the only one who's upset about OpenAI's moat after yesterday's hearing. One of the big threads of conversation on Twitter has been around how Sam Altman's support for AI licenses vaguely defined at yesterday's hearing was really just another version of regulatory capture and pulling the ladder up after them. The accusation is that OpenAI was allowed to build all these technologies without any sort of licensing regime, but now wants one just because it's out ahead. I think there's a lot more to explore here, and I probably will in a separate video later this week. But for now, that has been a big part of the sentiment on AI Twitter. Speaking of Elon and Tesla, yesterday they dropped this video of their Optimus bots walking around and learning about the real world, as they put it. The way that they frame Optimus is, quote, a general purpose bipedal humanoid robot capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive or boring. As many people have gotten excited about AI over the last few months, some are wondering if AI powered robotics is the next big trend. Along those lines, we also got an update yesterday from a company called Sanctuary, where they introduced Phoenix, which is their, quote, revolutionary humanoid general purpose robot designed for work. They say Phoenix is the first humanoid to be powered by carbon, a pioneering AI control system, and represents a giant leap forward in our mission to create the world's first human-like intelligence in general purpose robots. From sci-fi to real life. Now, one of the big themes of yesterday's hearing was concern around what was real and what was not in a world where ChatGPT could communicate as well as humans. Along those lines, a Reddit post is making the rounds in which a Texas A&M commerce professor failed their entire class of seniors, blocking them from graduating because he claimed they all use ChatGPT. Basically, he took all of their responses to a question, put them into ChatGPT, and asked if ChatGPT had written them, which it said it did. Now, of course, the ironic thing about this story is that what the professor accused them of doing, i.e. overly relying on AI, is exactly what the professor did, relying on an AI system that wasn't designed to detect other AI writing to tell him whether he was reading AI writing. Last up today, Apple gave us a sneak peek of some of its upcoming AI-driven accessibility updates, and that includes a text-to-speech module that can actually mimic the user's voice. The feature is called Live Speech, and here's how it's described in Gizmodo. Apple is adding the ability for users to record their speech patterns, a way to, in the company's words, create a voice that sounds like them for when they are at risk of eventually losing their speech. The personal voice app asks users to read a random assortment of text prompts equaling about 15 minutes of audio. The system uses AI to then generate speech that's equivalent to your personal style of speaking. Now, Apple says this will be fine because it will only be available locally on a user's iPhone, but it's still bringing up a lot of privacy and security questions as voice mimicking technology becomes more commonplace. What do you think? Do you want an AI that sounds like you? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. See you back here soon for the AI Breakdown.